Another weird one. The show keeps getting weirder, folks. Uh, did you see this? Uh, the Trump War Room posted, thanks for the support, Joe. And there's Joe Biden in an unaltered photo. That's not AI. No, that actually happened. Joe Biden wearing a Donald Trump hat at a commemorative 9-11 event uh, yesterday. So one of Biden's campaign higher-ups, Andrew Bates, wanted to clarify, at the Shanksville Fire Station, this is where the uh, United 93 plane uh, crash landed, um, POTUS spoke about the country's bipartisan uni unity after 9-11 and said we needed to get back to that. As a gesture, he gave a hat to a Trump supporter who then said that in the same spirit, POTUS should put it on his Trump cap. He briefly wore it. Biden briefly puts on Trump 2024 hat at Shanksville 9-11 events. The Hill reported this. Biden put on the hat with a meeting uh, during a meeting with community members that was closed to the press. A photo and a brief video of the moment quickly went viral among Republicans, including some who used it to attack Biden's mental sharpness and his support for Vice President Harris. So Benny Johnson tweets out what looks like more or less the full exchange here. Uh, after putting on a MAGA hat, Joe Biden told a group of Trump supporters, no eating dogs and cats. <laughs> He is pretty snarky in this exchange. This is this is this is kind of funny. Uh, so we'll watch this. Presidential hat, presidential seal on it. You want to autograph it? Oh, sure, I'll autograph it. Huh? Yeah. You remember yeah. your name? I don't remember my name. I'm slow. You're an old part. You're an old part. Yeah, I know, man. I'm an old guy. <laughs> and you're an old part. Uh, I know you would know about that. What? I'm being old. Oh, I know. Yeah. All right, I'm a young timer. Huh. <laughs> he reminds me of the guys I grew up with. There was always one in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to give him one. There you go, man. I, got, I, need, I need that hat. You want my autograph? Hell no. <laughs> you, know, you know my name. Come on. I ain't going that far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said you would do a selfie. There you go. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, the fun kind of fan theory here, which I actually don't think is, is all that invalid because he is the kind of, like, petty, narcissistic egomaniac who would do that as a passive-aggressive slight. This is why I buy on the Trump hat. And then he clips this part where uh, Trump points out how resentful Biden is that he's not the nominee anymore. Pathetic man that you saw at a debate just a few months ago that if he weren't in that debate, he'd be running instead of her. She got no votes. He got 14 million votes. What you did, you talk about a threat to democracy. He got 14 million votes and they threw him out of office. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. <laughs> but Mr. he President. got 14 million votes. They threw him out. She got zero votes. And when she ran, she was the first one to leave because she failed. And now she's running. I don't understand it, but Mr. I'm President, okay with it because Your time is I think up. we're going to do very well. I think we're going to do very well. Um, uh, uh, all right. That, that that was more subtle than the uh, trans surgery in prison, but that was hilarious. That was one of my favorite moments. And I'll tell you something. He hates her. <laughs> he, he hates her. He hates her. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so we know that Biden was resentful about being forced out of the race. Mm -hmm. um, and also, let's not forget, in the debate, I mean, this was one of the most notable parts of the debate. And I was actually a little surprised by this, that she did not devote half a sentence to Joe Biden or complimenting Joe Biden. Not even a gesture of no. it was an honor no. to serve under Joe Biden. No. We did good things under Joe Biden. No, like, when she nothing. mentioned Joe Biden, it was to say I'm not Joe Biden. To say I'm not Joe Biden. Like she absolutely threw him right under the bus. She gave him not a a second of good press in that entire time. Is he the kind of like Nixonian egomaniac that would just do that as a troll? Because even when like he says that even um, in advance of putting it on. Yeah, I'm an old guy. I don't even know my name. I'm old, like sarcastic. Like, yeah, I can't run for president. I'm just the old guy. Nancy Pelosi said, I'm too old. He didn't say that. But that's the subtext of what I get. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. I'm too old mm -hmm. for this. I probably shouldn't even be here. Here, take my hat. Here, I'll put on a Trump hat. Knowing, I mean, you know that's going to get out in the press. You wearing a Trump right. hat. Right. Is that a subtle dig? at the party for treating him this way maybe maybe it makes sense to me makes sense you know to me. fun little fan theory unprovable 
but he's he exe, exe, he's the exact personality type who would do a thing like that like a very petty egomaniac right? like a nixon type you know I, perfect I, guy, I, like the guy who would needle them that way well he has very nixonian resentments of yeah. having not gone to the right schools right and never right, right having been taken seriously he's like nixon light in a lot of right, ways right, joe right. biden um nixon with less uh less intellectual fiber um nixon's resentments at least were based on something real he actually was a very smart guy evil but smart unlike joe biden um i actually watching the clip this is one of his lucid moments this is like when you go and you you visit grandpa at the nursing home and you say oh this was one of his good days right, right um right. so so he was clearly uh present so at that point it's not one of those uh i don't know which hat is this you want to yeah no it wasn't hat? that he was confused no no he was quite it was clear deliberate. on what the hat was so at that point if you're acknowledging he knew that was a trump hat and he put it on anyway i would go with that theory i would say that's that yeah he was totally trolling the democratic establishment by doing that yeah i think it was a little dig especially yep. since especially the way he was dragged out we know it's confirmed he's not happy about it and the fact that they were just they 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 were just um uh uh so dismissive of him at the debate like right. you'd think there'd be a line or two about right. it was an honor to serve with him and here's some of the good things we did they didn't talk she didn't you would not know she was the incumbent from listening to that she talked about nothing that they did nothing right. she right. talked a little bit about well him. well which is clearly i mean remember she's not making any of these decisions her team said <laughs> joe biden is poison we are going to use this debate to distance you from Joe Biden and to establish you as a change. Right. Right. That's what they did. And That's part of that did. tactic was not even the party line. Oh, the sacrifice he made for the country. We did that on the first night of the convention. We've got our handmaidens in the press. Anytime Joe Biden's name comes up, the next words out of your mouth have to be the tremendous sacrifice he made for the country. You have to have to reinforce that spin that he wasn't dragged out kicking and screaming. We, 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 you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. We have, we have, we have paid plants in the press who do that for us. Please clap.